Talking telecoms with me today at 3GSM World Congress in Barcelona is Mike Short of O2. Mike, welcome to Telecom TV. Always a pleasure to, to chat with you. One of the big themes of the industry at the moment is on the content side, it's on applications and entertainment and bringing television to mobile devices. Can you explain why one of the, the, the leading contenders um, for the delivery platform, DVBH, can you explain what DVBH is and how it fits in with terrestrial digital television? Sure. Uh, we chose to trial mobile TV in Oxford starting in September uh, 2005 because we see a real growth market in mobile content. Last year across all UK networks we carried around one billion dollars worth of content only in 2005. But we said look how can we deliver more of this video content? So we chose to trial something we call mobile TV based on DVBH, digital video broadcast to a handheld. But in effect it's a combined service in one handset, cellular and DVBH broadcast in the same handset. 16 live TV channels over a five month trial and the interim results are pretty good so far. So you're not, you're not streaming via the network, you've got a separate uh, receiver built into the handset so that means a dedicated handset, special handset and any change to the network? Yes, during the trial it was a dedicated handset provided by Nokia. However, what we see is very important is finding out the real market test results. So understanding what trialists really view as being the more important services. In years to come we do not expect customers to just want cellular because that would convey the idea of voice and messaging and video clips. What we'd like to do is to see if the demand is there for mass market multi-channel TV. Therefore having a broadcast network in the same device as being viewable uh, as the cellular capability adds really the triple play of voice, data, internet as well as broadcast. Now you had 16 channels in the Oxford trial. What, what, what were the conclusions of the trial? What did you find that people were, were watching or how did they interact with this mobile TV? The 375 trialists had the option of 16 channels, some free to air or public service channels and some commercial channels. The remarkable thing was that at the end of the first two months of the trial they were using these handsets over three hours per week. <coughs> that typically compares with their home viewing patterns. However, the other remarkable thing was that they were watching as the main place of viewing the home, not the car, not when they're out and about on the bus, not the office, the place where they watched most of all was in the home. And we asked why and they said well it's more convenient as it would be. Uh, but also they said we have more choice during this trial than we typically get from the home TV receivers. And furthermore sometimes other members of the family just hog that home TV and we never get a look in. So the home really came out as a strong uh, viewing place as, ha as it has done in other trials. Now you've had your trial, we've had a trial operating here in Spain. Um, I believe there's a live service in Turin whilst the Winter Olympics is, is ongoing. What lessons is the industry learning? What lessons are the industry learning from the trial so far? I think the major lessons are that content is absolutely critical for anybody to adopt any mobile TV service. If you don't have the right content, they won't buy. But it's also the choice of content. If the choice of the content isn't wide enough, they also won't buy the service. So you've got to make it both convenient and, and suitable for the individual, and particularly suitable for the individual on the move. That's why here at this show, 3GSM Barcelona, there are illustrations of over 50 companies offering mobile TV type solutions. And that is a sign that there is demand just around the corner, even if the 40 or so trials may have some way to go. Final question for you, Mike. Um, as you understand it, the delivery of DVBH is, is dependent on national TV regulation. When in Europe can we expect to see it commercially? We will start to see mobile TV this year in Europe, in Italy, in Germany. Uh, maybe some of the pilots that have existed will go straight to service in other countries as well. The reality is that the products, the handsets are coming on the market, the content community are very keen and there is clear demand. We need to find ways of servicing that demand. It's true that there are some spectrum questions and some content rights questions, but I think given the opportunity, we'd like to address that market that clearly exists today. Great. Mike Short, thanks very much for talking with us.